Hi singers, today I'm gonna to be taking you through a vocal recovery warm up and workout. It is just two exercises that will get your voice feeling better when it's not 100% for whatever reason. If it is overuse, maybe some misuse, getting over illness, this is a workout and a warm up that's gonna get you feeling better. Hi everyone, I'm Amber Mog Kathy. I'm a voice teacher, vocal coach, singing voice specialist, and the owner of Evolve Vocal Studio. Right now, I'm also someone who does not feel 100%. I have been fighting this respiratory virus for the last couple of weeks, a lot of coughing, which has really left my voice feeling tired, swollen. If you listen to me much at all, you probably can hear I'm a little raspier than normal. I'm a little lower than normal. So I thought this is the perfect time to jump on and show you the warm up that I use to get my voice feeling better and that I use with so many of my singers. So the reason we only have two exercises in this vocal warm-up is this is about vocal recovery. It's when our voice is not feeling 100%. So we don't want to be jumping in and doing a 30 minute, an hour workout. That's too much, certainly for my voice right now. And for yours, if you are getting over illness or injury or misuse or overuse, whatever it is, if you're not feeling 100%. So the point of these exercises is one, to get our vocal folds connected, getting good blood flow to the vocal folds, getting them nice and stretchy, hopefully reducing some swelling and some inflammation, and then optimizing our resonance, getting that nice buzzy sound that that takes as little work from the vocal folds as possible. So let's jump in. So today we're gonna to be using a semi-occluded vocal tract sound for the first exercise and for the first half of the second exercise. That is a fancy way of saying a partially closed vocal tract, semi-occluded, partially closed. Your vocal tract starts here at your vocal folds, right? Housed in your larynx, and it ends at your mouth. And it's a tube that you can change the shape of by how you shape your mouth. <laughs> when we change the shape of that tube, we change where and how our sound comes out. And that also can really change how the vocal folds are able to function. So I'm gonna give you a few different semi-occluded vocal tract sounds that you can play with. And again, you use the one that works for you. It's also great to do this with a straw. You can use a singing straw, a voice straw, something like that that's optimized size for singers. You can use a straw in water um, to get that nice buzz and a good massage effect. I'm gonna give you some different sounds today though so that you can play with those and I can make those sounds while I play piano and don't have to hold the device. So the first one I wanna give you today is called the blowfish. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear how resonant that is. You can feel that airflow, that nice resonant buzz right around the lips. This one can be tricky for some people. If it's tricky for you, I'm gonna give you two things that you can use, a thumb trumpet or a pinky trumpet. And what I mean is don't overthink it. I want you to pop that pinky in your mouth and blow like it's a trumpet. Or the thumb. Whichever option feels better for you is gonna be the one you're gonna use. One is not better than the other. It's all gonna depend on your voice, your body, and how you're feeling that particular day. And we're just gonna do this first exercise on a sliding fifth. The second option I wanna give you is a nice buzzy H in. And you're going to do that sliding fifth on your H in. H in is going to be a nasal sound. So you might feel buzz in the nose, the nose and cheeks. The last one I'm going to give you is a lip trill, one you might have seen before. For people that have a hard time doing a lip trill, you're gonna take your fingers where dimples would go. I don't have dimples, but we're gonna pretend that I do. And the key here is to press in and up. You can use any of these three. You also can, like I said, use a different sound. Use a straw in water. Use a singing straw, a device like that. Use a regular size drinking straw that I have here. And a regular size drinking straw, what you want to do to get the level of resistance, because remember we're going for a partially closed vocal tract, is to take your finger and cover up the end. And you're gonna cover it up based on what works for your voice. That's not enough for me. I'm gonna cover even more. That feels really good. Play with whatever works best for you and let's jump in. 
You are either here or you are here. And let's sing along. focused on the slide. The more slide, the better. Also, this is not a big volume. Conversational at most. We're also not going to go to the tip top of our ranges on this, especially the first one. Just a little stretch. tight jump out we're gonna work our way back down let's do one more After that. If you have a sore throat right now, by the way, or if you are still sick, this is not the time that you do this warm up, this workout. You do this rehab workout when you are getting over the illness and we are just trying to get our voice back to 100%. Or if you are hoarse, you've lost your voice. We want to wait till everything feels pretty good. Right now, I am scratchy, I am raspy, but nothing hurts. If it hurts, that is your body saying, do not use me. So we are now going to move to our second exercise. We're going to start with our semi-occluded vocal tract sound. So again, I'm going to talk about either the blowfish, the H in, or the lip trill. You do what works for you. We're now going to spread this out to a broader range. I'm going to arpeggiate an octave, which just means... There's my octave scale. One, three, five, eight, five, three, one. And we're going to do this exercise twice, or we're going to do this pattern twice. The first time is on our nice, feel-good, semi-occluded vocal tract sound. Then we're going to do it on a nice, buzzy, resonant sound. My, 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 my. Again, nice and easy. Let's try one here. Then my, my, my. We're focused on that nice, yummy M, that resonant sound with our relaxed I vowel. That's a diphthong of ah and E together. My, 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 my. So let's jump in and try these together. My, 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 my. My, 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 my. Let me try an H in. That one feels good. My, 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 my. My, 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 my. Again, I am not pushing. This is the last time. I never want you to push, especially when you are not 
100 percent nice and easy let the exercise and the vocal track shape you do the work Now, does this mean that it takes, you know, being sick and all of a sudden you're like, my voice is 100%? No, but I don't know if you can hear just from the beginning of me speaking to now how more resonant my voice is and I've just got more ease. It sounds better and it feels better and those are the big things. Again, listen to your body. Everybody is different and listen to your body and your voice day to day because things can change, especially if you are getting over being sick. I wish you good health. I hope you will use this whenever you need it. Also, I have a free training right now, how to sing the songs you want without breaking and cracking, that you can just click the link and get right away. You're going to want to be using that when you're feeling better, but it's all about erasing those vocal breaks and cracks, creating one connected, consistent voice for you. I also have a fantastic Vocal Pro membership with three different options, 
Vocal Pro Lite, Essentials, and Deluxe, all based on what you need. One of the baseline things that everyone gets is access to our voice gym that has 100 plus video and audio exercises for, our, for all areas of the voice, for all levels of singers, as well as recovery workouts and sections where you can release tension. It's going to give you what you need when you need it, so you don't have to be scanning the internet looking for what's the right exercise for this. Though, if that's how you found me, I'm so glad you did. I hope you will like, I hope you will subscribe, I hope you will come back often, and happy singing.